You guys see that? We got spindles turning. Stuart's been actually working on an amazing part to our conference table. Ty and Billy, they come up with this amazing design where everything on the conference table is going to be made here. Stuart's just finishing up these legs for the conference table. He's going to be working on a center body, 3 plus 2 machining on the DVF. I want to show you guys something that I'm proud to be a part of when it comes to the table. And it's going on over here. Let's go check it out. So Stuart's making it happen with the legs for our conference table over at the DNM 5700L. While he's finishing those up, I'm coming over here to finish running a 6x6 block, which is going to be our bottom clamp that is going to actually attach a 4x4 solid piece of aluminum across our conference table. It's going to be holding the whole structure up with Stuart's center body that he's going to be doing on the DVF. I rough this out with some pretty big tools. You know, Tormach 1100 MX, we got light horsepower, but that doesn't mean we can't get it done. I'm gonna drop this in, and I got a nice chunk vise in there, have another chunk stop, just butt it up, get the process running. So I'm gonna finish out my final bottom clamp piece on the Tormach 1100 MX. Let's get it started. So right now I'm roughing the hat off of the part with my two inch kind of metal stell ram. I'm doing 45 thou depths of cuts. I'm gonna keep running that through. I found the two inch just really fits for this machine, the low torque. I've gone to one and a half, I've gone to one. They all work and you know, as machinists, we always want to use the biggest cutter that we can. And when it comes to this guy, it runs that two inch perfect. I have a two inch kettle metal, half inch end mill roughing out my part. It is running dry. I do actually have a mist to air ratio mix that's blowing on my tool. I want to do this A because I want to show you guys chips, right? I want you guys to be able to see what's going on, you know? But the other thing is I, I realized that it just helps with my chippy vac too. You know, sometimes when you run cool it and you're in a pocket or you're just going two times D and those chips don't get out because on this smaller machine, I don't have high pressure coolant, right? So I found out that if I got rid of the coolant and I did an air blast, as you can see, my chips just fly out of there. They get out, there's nothing in the way of my cutter because I don't wanna be recutting chips. You know what that looks like, you know what that sounds like. It's not good for your tool. finishing up my bottom clamp piece for our conference table. That's gonna finish out my parts. Stuart finished off his 16 leg pieces. That's two components down when it comes to our conference table. We got a few more pieces to go before we can fully assemble that here at the shop. I know you guys wanna see this conference table finish as much as I do. Make sure to stick around, stay tuned for more content to come.